Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. At the recent Wood Turners Worldwide Symposium, I participated, but they also had a daily challenge. One of those challenges was to make something a miniature. Not intended to take a lot of time, and it wasn't. So I decided to make this little basket with a handle on it. I'd seen my wife do wire wrapping, and at the symposium there was one where he wrapped wire. So this is three different colors of wire wrapped into a single one and then used as a handle to this little basket. So uh, the basket itself is uh, frogwood blank, so it's just laminated colors, which makes it quite attractive. And then they handle and glued in. So let's make this little basket with a handle. This miniature basket is in response to a daily challenge from the Wood Turners Worldwide Online Symposium. I found some scrap laminated wood from frogwood blanks and glued two pieces together face to face. Then after sanding the bottom flat, I glued it to the end of a threaded wood faceplate with a long wood spindle. I like this because it moves the miniature out away from the headstock where I can access the project better. Now this is about the same as a large bowl, but on a very reduced scale. All the steps are about the same. I'm roughing it to round with my gouge with a live center providing security. I do not want to put too much lateral pressure because I have had CA joints break apart. Since this is hard birch, I plan to drill the center first. This will also keep any pressure in line with the turning axis against the faceplate. The trick is to stop drilling before the point of the drill pokes through the bottom. That would be disappointing. Then cut exterior features. With the outside established, I carefully hollow it a bit more with a small round nose scraper. All the time, I worry about too much lateral pressure. So, I keep the strokes as light as possible. Each cut is a final cut in case my CA glued joint decides to shatter. After sanding up to 400 grit, I apply shellac friction polish and rub it in with high speed pass on the lathe. After rechecking the depth, I can part it off. Instead of parting off through the birch, my parting cut is mostly on the spindle side with just enough of the best on the basket side to be a bit concave then face off the end of the spindle for the next time I need to use it. Rather than to try to reverse the basket, I mount a sanding pad to the lathe to clean the bottom. At this size, this goes quickly. 
then a touch of shellac to finish the bottom. There was some wire twisting in the symposium. My wife has also worked with wire and allowed me to use 22 gauge wires with three different surface colors. I have twisted one end together and secured it in a Jacob's chuck on the lathe. I have another chuck salvaged from an old drill. I straighten the wire and secure the opposite end in the second drill chuck, then put this chuck in my drill. While I could have put the wire directly in my drill, the chuck was lighter and easier to handle while securing the wire. Then, almost an, as an anticlimax, trigger the drill to wind the wire to a tight wind. My wife is coaching me on how much to wind without breaking the wire. All that is left is to drill holes for the wire, cut off a short length, and glue the wire to the holes in the basket with CA glue. This completes my miniature for the challenge. I do not often work at this scale, so this was a great opportunity to stretch myself with a short, enjoyable project. It was off the cuff with materials already at hand, not much time to ponder and no time to go to source materials. Yet, I like my little basket with its wire handle. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video and add it to my website. As usual, I appeal for you to wear your full face shield for safety anytime that lathe is running. I will see you next week with another wood turning video.